Hey everybody, welcome to Aromatic Moments. Today we are going to go over the essential oil peppermint, also known by the Latin name of menta pepperita. So the emotional uses for peppermint is it clears energy, it can uplift your mood, awaken and refresh in, and also it can stimulate new ideas and creativity. So my favorite way to use peppermint is to mix it with a little bit of lemon essential oil, maybe some tea tree if I'm having some you know, sinus problems, if it's that time of year and the weather's changing. But peppermint and lemon mixed together is my favorite blend as far as trying to stay focused and, and really getting a lot of things done and accomplished. So I highly recommend trying that one out. Also, peppermint is a little bit strong, and some people will have issues with it, especially when you're using it for headache and you, you want to put it on your temples or maybe even underneath your nose. Uh, for those reasons, um, I don't use peppermint by itself very often because it is a little too much for me. If you are the same type of person, I highly recommend blending it with either lemon or lavender. That helps tone it down a little bit and you still reap those benefits from the peppermint oil itself. The other properties for peppermint, it's analgesic, anti-inflammatory, antifungal. It's antispasmodic for your um, gastrointestinal, so it's really good on the tummy rub blends if you're having a little bit of problems there. Um, it's a circ circulatory stimulant, which probably is one of the reasons why it helps with your headaches. You know, helps get everything moving and, and everything that's clogged up there. It helps get it circulated. It does have a cooling factor. And what that means is when it's on your skin, uh, it has properties that while it's evaporating, it makes your skin feel cool. A lot of people like those types of feelings when they're using it for massage oils. The only thing that I recommend is if you are using it in a massage oil or for any type of sore muscle type of activity is that you make sure that you're using proper dilutions. Remember, your essential oils are very concentrated and you want to make sure that you're diluting them properly. Peppermint oil can cause skin irritation. It's what some people would categorize as a hot oil. So you want to be very careful with that and make sure if you're using it on your temples that you're diluting it well, first of all, and that you're going to leave that area alone. You do not want to get it into your eyes. So the proper dilution of that would be around a 2 or 3%. If you're using it for everyday use, which... 1% is going to be six drops per one ounce of carrier. And 2% is gonna be 12 drops per one ounce of carrier. And by carrier oil, I mean coconut oil, uh, olive oil, jojoba, which is my favorite. Now, if you're putting peppermint in a rollerball blend so that it's easier for you to use for headaches on your temples, the rollerball, you know, to rub on your temples here, please, 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 six drops total six drops total essential oil for a 10 milliliter rollerball. I know I've seen that a lot of people have posted recipes and they have upwards of 40 drops of essential oil in this, my, this tiny small, uh, I think it's two teaspoons of carrier. And so that's way too much essential oil in that tiny bottle, please. Six drops total in your 10 milliliter roller bottle Six drops total in one ounce carrier is a 1% dilution. 12 drops is 2% and 18 drops is a 3%. Getting much than that in any essential oil dilution and you really want to be using it for a small, a, a shorter amount of time. So if you have some really sore muscles or something that needs special attention and you want to give it two or three days of this power punch of essential oil, you can use a higher dilution, but just remember to use it for a smaller amount of time. So I would use, you know, just make up one ounce of total product for yourself if you're using that. And then that way that you know it's going to be finished and you're not going to go back to it. You're not going to be using it for too long. Um, the safety precautions, as I said, it can cause uh, skin and mucous membrane irritation. So you want to be very careful with using peppermint. It, I, it wouldn't freak out if you're going to get it, you know, if you're making a, a blend and you get some on your fingers, it's going to be okay. You just want to maybe use, if you're very sensitive to peppermint, use the carrier oil to rub in your hands, 
rinse that off and then wash with soap and water. Soap and water is not going to really remove the oil if you use that alone. So be sure to rub your hands in the carrier, rinse that, and then wash your hands with soap and water after it, and then you should be okay. Um, avoid, avoid using peppermint for children under five years of age. Um, it can be a neural toxin. And, and I always err on the side of caution, which you've heard me say before. So just make sure that you're diluting. And if you have any questions, please comment below or reach out to me. You can go to my Facebook page, Naturally Simplified, or all other Grand Central Station area to contact me. Go to naturallysimplified.com and I will be happy to help you with all your blends. I look forward to seeing you next week for Aromatic Moments.